in love with football, and people must be in love with Eden Hazard. And then giving the ball to Eden Hazard, wow, <laughs> not too oh bad. Now, why now? Uh, Eden Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree. I think, What's so good about Eden Hazard? Uh, everything. Oh my yeah, just everything. What do you prefer? Celebrate like Delhi Ali? You know? Yeah, he knows, he knows. <laughs> or celebrate like Grace Man. What do you prefer? El hablar, 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 sí, yo entiendo que se tienen que analizar, se tienen que vender programas, pero estás hablando de un jugador que te puede dejar retratado en un segundo, ¿no? La ocasión de Mbappé es un pase de, de Leo que es que solo Leo lo puede hacer. De los 22 jugadores que había en ese campo, solo él lo podía hacer. Well, Italian defenses are, they're known for their defending, you know. Wow, it, it could be, they're, they're horrible to play against, honestly. It's like they, they don't even want to go forward because it's a risk of, of, of scoring for the other team. It's like they all stay behind. It's like, wow, go forward, full backs, you know. <laughs> Try to score, a goal, no. You can't score, that's the most important thing, so. When you play, I played uh, against uh, AC Milan in the, in the San Siro, and there was a back four of uh, Cafu and Jaap Stam, where you went to Milan, uh, Maldini and Nesta. So this is like, it's, uh, that was interesting, you know, it's like, okay. And uh, they, were pretty, they were pretty good, all, all four of them, how they worked as a unit, and there was Gattuso in front, you know, it's like, Uh, he's like, wow, I'm going to kill you when you get the ball. <laughs> and, uh, and then Pirlo, he just got, he was fantastic. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Seedorf was playing in that team too. He's the strongest man in the world. And, uh, but I didn't score in that game. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Didn't get near a shot. Like four or five players flying in when I came to, when I had the ball, so that was pretty amazing. Air dans ma tête. Mais pourquoi Eden? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Non, mais parce que la vie. Moi, je pense honnêtement. Moi, je pense honnêtement que toute ma carrière, depuis j'ai commencé à 16 ans, maintenant j'ai 30 ans. Ouais. Pendant 12 ans, j'ai pour parler des blessures un peu. Pendant 12 ans, j'ai pas eu de blessure. Mm -hmm. Et vous savez comment je joue, tous les coups que j'ai pris, tout, voilà. Je pense qu'à un moment, là, mon corps, il est arrivé à un, à un niveau où il se dit, fais attention, parce que t'as un peu mal là. J'ai beaucoup joué aussi avec un peu mal là, et ça a toujours été. J'ai jamais été, oh, j'ai mal, je dois arrêter. Mais maintenant, c'est différent avec les blessures. Et enchaîné. même dans la compétition la plus dure voilà, voilà, en voilà. Angleterre. Et même maintenant, les gens aussi, ils savent, euh, voilà. Eden, ça fait deux ans, il est un peu plus fragile. Euh, c'est pour ça. It's not simply a building, Anfield. It is a church, it is a shrine. When there are problems in the city, let alone with the club, everyone congregates there. And I get that impression, the same with Atletico Madrid. I think maybe it was a, one of the reasons why he did settle is because he was going from one home to another home. I played for Liverpool for 17 years as, as a professional. Um, but Fernando made me feel different. Every time I go onto the pitch, I, I felt as if I could either assist a goal or score a goal. And I always felt like the team was going to win because he could win football matches alone. My best years were when Fernando arrived. It was my favorite partnership. Con Gerard es que he sido un privilegiado. He podido disfrutar de uno de los mejores jugadores del mundo en el pico de su carrera. Reunía todas las condiciones que yo necesitaba para brillar. 
Fernando didn't fear anyone in a, in a Liverpool shirt. I think he felt invincible. He's big, he's powerful, he's good looking, he's quick, he's skillful, he has everything. condicionantes que yo necesitaba para saber que el vínculo entre jugador y afición que yo siempre he necesitado tanto existía me hicieron sentir como si hubiera casi nacido allí Mourinho y cambia la situación otra vez, los primeros meses y por todo lo que se ha escrito y por la percepción que hay desde fuera de mi situación en el equipo no me veo como delantero titular o no era un, un, un chico muy feliz en el Chelsea, o era yo que, que por su propia personalidad no ha entrado en esta dinámica de, um, de Chelsea. Mm. Does he have a future? Yes, he has. He is contract, he is a good professional. Obviously, we want him to score more goals. Él ha hecho su trabajo. Uh, no, ha sido, no ha sido flop que muchas veces la gente le gusta decir, este jugador, el otro, un flop. Esto no es un flop. Un flop no gana títulos, un flop no, no mete goles. Lo veo como jugador de grandes momentos. Momentos importantes, pap. A nivel personal, considero que hay muchos momentos y periodos, es cierto que no son regulares, pero periodos en el Chelsea, donde yo quizá juego el mejor fútbol que he jugado, pero son periodos muy cortos. Lo que nunca consigo en el Chelsea es regularidad. Y eso en un club grande no se perdona. I thought Fernando could give us a bit more. Vienes de hacer medias de 15, 20 goles, hacer medias de 6, 8. Es una realidad y hay que asumir esa realidad. Pero yo no dudo de mí. Dudo de que puede hacerlo en ese lugar. Pues quizá no es mi sitio. Asumo y entiendo que lo mejor es ponerle punto y final. Entonces es cuando surge la primera vez la posibilidad de ir al Atlético. O por lo menos se empieza, se empieza a escuchar. Robin, welcome back to London and thanks very much indeed for joining us. You're welcome. So Robin, are you ready? Yes, I hope so. Cesc Fabregas or Wesley Schneider? Fabregas. Fabregas. I'm yeah. Robin or Robert Pires? Pires. Pires. Leo Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? So it is what it's a um, matter of taste. I would go for Messi then. You'd go for Messi? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, pick a city, London or Manchester? You've been thinking about those questions. I have indeed. <laughs> <laughs> People were telling me like, what are you going to do in Manchester? London is so much better. But then I really liked it. Manchester is just tranquilo. So we'll go, we'll go Manchester on that one. Okay. City United or Arsenal Tottenham, which derby was more intense? Both actually, because it was in different phases of my uh, career. And uh, Arsenal Tottenham uh, in, in that time was really intense. Mm -hmm. But Manchester United City was Intense at all, so... Indeed, we'll take both for an answer, Robin. That's yeah, okay, both them. <laughs> Now, rank for me, Robin, the following three goals in order. So, first, second and third. Yep. Header versus Spain, Volley versus Villa, Wonder Strike versus Charlton. In that order. That's the order? That's the order. So, is that Header versus Spain the best goal you've scored then? Yeah. Darts or table tennis? <sighs> I just got a present from Barney. I saw that. And I'm Twitter. really thrilled about it. I'm playing every every you? <laughs> every uh, second I can. I'm playing darts now. And finally, Robin, your favorite jersey, number 10 at Arsenal or number 20 at Man United? I have to make a decision. I hope so, Robin. Yeah. Well, the, the number 10, the number itself is nicer than 20. Mm -hmm. It's just a story with it, but, but makes it special. Which yeah, I, I would go for 20 because uh, that story is has more impact. Yeah. Robin, top man, thanks Cheers. so much once Thank you. again. Thank you. Robin, a wrap. Top man, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Sorry about the really? questions. <laughs> oh, oh my days, this is the, the most difficult. <laughs>